Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a very simple subscribe button in DaVinci Resolve. No fancy bells and whistles, just simple subscribe button. And if you want to, later on, you can stay tuned to the channel and I will show you guys how to animate it on screen and off screen as well. So, let's get started. Go to Generators, okay? Under Solid Colors, you will, because that's one of the generated options, you will drag this over. You can technically make it however long you want. It really doesn't matter too much. We're just going to keep it what it is right now. I think that's perfectly fine. If anything, it might be a little too long, five seconds, but we'll keep it how it is for now, okay? Nothing seems to have changed because the color of this is indeed black. So what we will have to do is go to the inspector, just click inspector to open that. We'll change it to red, okay? I know they aren't red anymore, but you know, we're gonna change it to red. Then next we will wanna go over to settings, okay? This is very important because, well, it really depends. There's tons of ways you could do this. We could play around with the zoom a bit and whatnot, but I personally like cropping. So we crop, just, you can eyeball it if you really want. Crop, we're going to crop down, bottom, we are going to crop down or you could or you could do it a completely different way remember i said there were many different ways to do this now we gotta make sure this is what we want because the next step is going to be an interesting step we are going to go ahead make a compound clip and the reason we're making this into a compound clip is because we are going over to the fusion section, okay? Not, we aren't doing a whole lot with fusion, so don't worry. We just need to click on this rectangle, okay? The reason we need to click on the rectangle is because we need to use this so we can make a rectangle curve. I'll go ahead and move this here so we can actually see what's happening. The width smaller. Make the height smaller. And then there we go. Let's say something like that. It may not be the best in the world, but for what we want, this actually works perfect. We will go ahead and move this down a little bit so it's right here so we have everything in perfect order. Now we do want some font to go on it. So we go over to title here. We can either do the text or the text plus. We'll just do your text for this one. It really doesn't matter too much but Widget to your text. And where it said basic text, we would just go ahead, subscribe. You can put whatever you want here, but for the purpose of this, we're going to hit subscribe. We make it bold and we make, make it all caps. And then furthermore, we would just use this here to bring it here, bring it down here, and maybe make it a little bit smaller, just, just there, maybe move it over a little bit. And you know, if we wanted it to be a little more bold, we could just do something like make a stroke appear here 
Let's actually bring the stroke down a bit to 10. And then there we go with that. That's your super simple subscribe button, okay? And now you could just export this as it is. You would definitely make sure to export it, uh, export it as a transparent background, which I will show you guys how to in a moment if you guys want to continue watching this. But before I show you guys that, I'm going to show you guys how to animate this because I mentioned that it was something I would show. Okay, so in order to start animating it, what we will want to do is make this into a compound clip, okay? We are going to quickly animate this, but we are going to animate it in two steps, okay? We are going to do something which seems absurd, okay? We are going to cut this in half and then get rid of this half, okay? There's the reason we're going to do that. And that is because we are going to animate it. The first thing we will do, we will go ahead and hit this. This is the keyframe button that's on the Vinci Resolve. Don't worry about it too much because we aren't going to be doing too, too much. We're going to drag this out of place, okay? Yeah, we're dragging it just so it's off screen. We don't care where it is as long as it's off screen. And then from the end of here, we want it to start at point zero, okay? So you know, like it was to begin with. So we're just going to hit zero there. So now if we play that back, you would see that it enters all the way to point zero. And then we're done with that. Now, once we get to point zero, like we are right now, we will want to actually make it exit a bit. So what we're going to do is duplicate this, or in my case, I'm holding alternate, or you would hold option if you were on Mac, and then just you know, dragging to duplicate it. I'll be honest, I only do it this way because it's a bit easier for me personally, because we are just going to do exactly what we did but sort of in reverse, kind of. Okay, so what we are going to do is go ahead and keyframe this to be zero. Yeah. Okay, keyframe that to be zero right there. And then at the end here, we want this to be just off screen. Okay, that's what we want there. And now, if we play it all from the beginning, we see that it goes on screen, then it goes off. So that's perfectly fine with that. Now, we can actually go ahead and Compound clip this if we want to. Yes, I'm using compound clips quite a bit actually because we can actually slow something down a bit. Like, like say we want the point it is here to be slowed down. Like, like there we could freeze frame or we can just slow it down a bit so we have that selected we right click on it we might actually have to zoom in a bit because it's such a small clip 
So we right click on it. We will change the speed to be uh, quite a bit slow there and then ripple timeline. So it will change it there. And now if we do it, we get a little bit of a pause. Or of course, like I said, you could do freeze frame if you want. Let's see if we did this. There's actually quite a bit of options that you can do to get about the same result if you wanted to. Like right now, we could just hit freeze frame and, you know, it would just freeze the frame. And of course, since it's a freeze frame, we can make it for as long as we need to. So we can keep that there and then have it go away. Just very simple. The freeze frame thing is probably the easiest option if I'm being perfectly honest. So there is that and there we go. Now. I want to show you guys how to extract this, okay? Or rather, how to render it. So you keep everything, okay? You will want to go to the Deliver tab, of course. And then what you will want to do is, if you have a custom export, you can click on it. That's no big deal. We will name this something like anime sub so to show it's an anime sub button single clip that's perfectly fine and then what we will want to do is click on audio here turn off audio because we don't have any audio we don't want to export any audio and then we will, this format right here, we want to change this to QuickTime, okay? And that for Codex, it's really up to you per se, okay? Now, if you were on a Mac, you might see Apple 4444, and that would do just fine. But since I'm not on a Mac, Right now, I am going to choose this, D-N-H-R, okay? And then hit Export Alpha. That's very important. If you want to export the alpha, which is what we want to do, you will do that. Then after that, you just click add to render queue and then render it out and there you go this is a super simple one if you decide not to use this in particular hopefully some elements have helped you in the future for stuff and with that said i will catch you guys in the future later mm -hmm.